Here we have a 4090, a PNY 4090 video card that came in for repair. I already have it plugged in. It came in because it's not detected. We have the PCIe connector connected, the power cables. And as you can hear, the motherboard is beeping six times. Six times on a Dell motherboard, which is where we have this card connected, means that the card is not being detected. Let me turn the power supply off. We're going to disconnect the power cable. We'll go over the board and see what's going on. Just a quick visual inspection. Or maybe we can measure the power rails since we already have the card connected. Why not measure the power rails and then we can do a visual inspection on the board. So let me turn the power supply back on. Meter in voltage mode and we're going to start with the 12 volt lines. I always start by measuring the 12 volt lines. All right, so let's go here. Maybe zoom out a bit. And we're going to measure at this coil. We have 12.21 volts. We're going to measure at this coil here. We have 12.21 volts. And we're going to measure this coil on top. And we also have 12.20 volts. Great. So we do have our 12 volt inputs, all three of them. Now, if we go all the way down to the bottom of the card on the right side with the GPU facing up, we do have our 5 volt present. And just measure our core quick, we have 0 0.75, even though we do not have a heatsink. Core is still reading 0 0.75. Usually on video cards, core will show up for a few seconds and then go down to 0 if we do not have a heatsink. But I still see core, 0 0.75. 755. What if we measure right here? And we do have memory, 1.367. So far, so good. If we measure on the far left, 0 0.9, our PEX line, very good. We are reading 1.8. Great. So all voltage rails, for the most part, are present. This one is reading 1.2, 1 1.22. And there's nothing more I want to measure on this card beside the rails I measured for now. Let me turn the power supply off. Disconnect. We're going to check the card. Just a quick visual inspection. I know we do not have any problems with our 12 volt lines, so most likely we do not have any issues with vCore, the R MOSFETs, any of that stuff. Okay, so let's start. We're gonna quickly go over the board, and I'm looking for possibly any knocked off component, any missing component. A lot of times when customers plug the card in or they disassemble the card because they want to clean it or replace thermal paste, they end up knocking components off the board. Very common. We want to look at the pins also. We do have all our voltage rails present, no problem. No cracks. And this side of the cord is good, unless I missed something. We're going to flip the board. And check all the way down. We're going to check our data lines also. Make sure all the capacitors are present. I have a lot of videos where the card was not detected because of a missing capacitor, a knocked off capacitor from the data lines. So visual inspection is important, very important.
You see those data line capacitors right here? They are all present, all present. Oh, oh, whoa. Look at this. We have a broken line. We have a broken line. GPU reset line, usually 3.3 volts or 1.8 volts, right? Where does this line run? That's our problem. That's most likely our problem. Yeah, I mean, that's the only issue with the card right now. That's the only issue I see. We do have all voltage lines present and we have a broken PCIe pin or pad. So where does this pad go to? Probably pin number one or pin number two of that chip. We should be able to run a wire. That's a low voltage line. We should be able to run a tiny wire, solder it from here all the way to this line right here. And we're gonna use the grinding pen to grind that line, I just want to see where it leads to. Right there. The magic of the grinding pen. This is the NF grinding pen. You can look it up on our site, northwishfix.com, click on shop and you can buy all your tools from there. Whether you are in the same type of business or you are a hobbyist, you can buy everything from this amazing microscope, articulating arm, grinding pad, hot air station, soldering station, thermal camera, tweezers, braidwick, original Amtec flux. Just log into our site at the car checkout pay and we almost always ship out same day. Meter in diode mode. And I want to measure to see where this line goes to. We're going to have to cover whatever scratch we have here. We do not want to make a short circuit. I mean, we are dealing with a microscopic line, a very tiny line. We are under a microscope and look at how tiny that line is. Okay, so it's going to pin number two. Pin number two, got it, no problem. Hopefully we do not have anything else wrong with the board. We should be able to fix the cart. Let me just add a little bit of a black solder mask. We now have all the colors for the solder mask. Red, blue, green, and black. And you can buy all four of them as one package. Just search UV mask on our site. And that's one high quality UV mask. You'll see. Apply right here. And a little bit goes a long way. Just the tip of my tweezer and look at how much I covered. Maybe I can grind up a bit. And I'm using a very fine grinding tip. where you can grind precisely. We're gonna use a UV light. And in the meantime, let me turn my hot air station on also. Because UV mask will cure a lot faster if we have UV light along with hot air. I shared that information in an older video. And awesome. Maybe we can grind some more.
Right, so that's one high quality UV mask. It only cures in a few seconds, along with our UV light, the 10 watt UV light. Amazing. We're gonna use a 0.1 millimeter wire. You can also find this on our site. And we're gonna thin that wire. Just a tiny bit of flux because we are dealing with a microscopic wire. And we're gonna have a little bit down on the pad. Right now I'm using the NF dot mini pen. Knife tip. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna be using our anti-glare light. Now we're gonna measure from the pad all the way up to the second pin of that chip, the VE chip. Meter in diode mode, and we're gonna measure from here all the way down to here. Awesome. Now all we have to do is test and hope for the best. First, let me plug that cord in. We gotta disconnect. I just wanna check to see if that wire is holding. And awesome, look at this. Look at this, I plugged the cord in, back out and that wire and the UV mask are intact. One more time. We're gonna plug it in. Plug the power cable. Now some cards will not work if we do not have the heat sink connected. All right. One two and three i'm no longer hearing oh right there right there right there that logo came and it just disappeared and that's because of the heat sink let me turn the power supply off and i'm gonna turn it back on power supply on Watch how the Dell logo is going to appear for a few seconds before the card overheats and shuts itself down because we don't have a heatsink. Powering up. The card may shut off before we even see the Dell logo because of overheating, but I did see the Dell logo. Okay. So I'm going to ask Big Boss to reassemble the card and we're going to test again. I'll be back. All right, so the card is assembled and let's go ahead and try it. Just to finalize the video, I know the card worked. But I want to show it fully functional on camera.
So we have the power cable plugged in, PCIe adapter, and we have the HDMI cable. All right, and I'm gonna have to rotate the camera so we can see what's going on on the screen. We're gonna monitor the screen right here. One, two, and three. Fans are spinning. No six beeps. And we should see a Dell logo on the screen. Yes, yes, the Dell logo. And it's telling us to press F1 to continue, so on and so forth. The cord is functioning. Big Boss will test it further, invoice, and mail it back to the customer. All right, so we are done. Let me just turn the power supply off, adjust the camera. The cord is fixed. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.